bit of wheel spin. Hi guys, home bargains today, which is a bit like Poundland, only different. Picked up this little fella, cute soft little uh, flashing LEDs inside. And of course it's made of silicon, or at least I assume it is, so we can stretch it. So you know what we're going to do with that, stick it in one of those rubber band powered cars. Just let me take the label off. Uh, I think it's about 59 pence or something like that. It's pretty cheap. Less than a pound. I've got some bits of string here. Which I think we can probably use. Right. Okay. That took far too long to do. So we'll edit that out. So we've got his tail. How about his neck? Try the same thing. Okay, so we got head and tail. Now we'll see if we can fit that in one of my old rubber band powered cars. One of my old cars made from four wooden uh, paint stirring sticks that I bought in Wilco. So, give the little fella a stretch. I'm not sure if this car goes straight. I was looking at the holes and it looks to me like it goes off at a bit of an angle. We'll soon find out. A bit of wheel spin. Worked fine. No problem at all. Right, see if we can run backwards. Oh, we're going to hit the wall. Ah. <laughs> well, good effect. Right, we'll do that again.
try not to hit the wall this time. Oh, but we hit the washing. It's raining outside, so we've got the washing indoors drying. Making use of the fact that it gets warm in here when there's a little bit of sun out there. So, that works. Summary time. What have we got? One of my old rubber band powered cars made from four wooden paint stirrers, uh, CDs for wheels, bamboo canes or barbecue skewers for the axles, bottle tops or bottle caps for the hubs and they're taped in place on these back wheels, just ordinary tape. On the front wheels they're actually hot glued in place Got plastic beads to space the wheels away from the bodywork so they don't rub against the body. And then for a power source, instead of a rubber band, we've got a uh, a chicken. <laughs> Which, if you'd have hit the camera hard enough at the end there, he would have flashed. But he didn't. And I'm happy with that. We didn't really want to hit the camera hard. So, job done. Oh, I forgot to say, a little bit of string there just to hold him in place, attach him to this cross member at the back there, and attach him to the axle at the front, which I have put a little piece on there, T-shape, just glued in place to make it easy to hook the string on. That's it. Job done.